So yeah, it turns out I apparently forgot to include all of the recorded footage that I got for the unboxing. So here's what I forgot to throw in. Sorry. All right, so first up we have the box for the hidden ones. You can see we have pretty standard War Cradle bases. These are some of the newer ones. In just a second. Let's see. Because, ah, it's a mix. So here we have the newer small bases. So hopefully you can see it has the slots for magnets already in them. Whereas the larger base for Click Clack is one of the old outlaw style bases, which does not it even has the the old Wild West Exodus symbol on the on the bottom of it and outlaw miniatures in there. If you can you know how well you can see that. But yeah, so we have what? Noise. We have one, two, three, four bases here. Oh, and make that five bases. And another massive one. This one is the one for Click Clack. And this is a newer this is a newer large base. You can see the War Cradle logo and the spots for magnets are already there. So, right, so we have all of that. Move these out of the way real quick. All right, so first, let's do all of this here just so I can keep track of things. First bag. Let's see the quality of all the sprues here. Which, since this is War Cradle, I'm going to guess is going to be pretty high quality. These are all going to be completely brand new ones. So, okay, we have these two. I apologize for the lighting, but here, will that help? Not particularly. Sorry, I have I'm in a new I'm in a new office, a new space with new lighting, and I have to sort of improvise a bit more than I did previously. Yeah, you can see these first two here. Quality is actually pretty good. I'm not seeing any major instances of flashing. Not a whole lot of mold lines. But in typical fashion, I probably won't notice the mold lines until after I've already primed them. Let's see, I've also got a couple of baggies here with a lot of very small fiddly bits, which is greatly appreciated. All right, here we have a couple of arms holding buckets. Here we have a couple of arms holding buckets and some tentacles, along with one of my cats making a bunch of noise, getting into something he shouldn't. All right, next baggie. Let's see. More sprues. Ah, some random appendages and stuff. There's not. There's a little bit of flashing on the actual gate right there but on the miniatures themselves there really isn't which is nice and there's a more appropriate gribbly bits once my camera decides it wants to focus come on there we go okay so, in very, there's practically no flashing on here. Probably some mold lines, but not that serious. Ah, we have fishermen. Uh, again, you can see the gates there. 
tiny bit of flashing at the bottom of the spear. Not that bad overall. Right, I've seen some that are quite a bit that have been quite a bit worse. They cleaned up very well afterwards. This guy, he looks good. Well, it won't be a whole lot. Ah, and some extra bits, including tentacles, because it just wouldn't be a Lovecraft game without tentacles everywhere. There's a couple of bits in the actual baggie there. I'm not going to take them out because they're probably just going to get lost if I do. Alright. Now for this last one, which I'm guessing is probably going to have Click Clack himself. Okay, all kinds of goodly stuff. Yep, here's the body for him. Uh, and a few appendages. There's, it looks like there's a couple that broke off. They'll probably be in the actual baggie here. Um, these do look pretty hefty and significant. I'm hoping he won't be quite as much of a pain to put together as Callie was for the Dark Nation. Little bits of flashing on the legs. Nothing too serious. Ooh, those, those look beefy. Those arms there, yeah, they could definitely do some damage. Face, as you notice, on the body was a separate piece. Was a separate piece. We have it right here. And a couple of the little bits that have broken that have broken off the sprue, still in the baggie here. So, there we go. That is the hidden ones. Next up, let's take a look at the priory. Bases get put back. material. We got a bunch of war cradle stuff on one side. And in the back <laughs> is Wild West Exodus. Completely different game. I'm guessing just because they don't have any mythic mythos promo material like that out yet. And I'm guessing future boxes will. Alright. Here we have the Priory. You'll see some bases. Oh, the pretty big one. Again, old school. See, uh, take it out of the box or the, out of the bag, so you actually can see. But yeah, this is an older, this is an older base because it says Outlaw Miniatures and it has the Wild West Exodus symbol. But hey, you know what? A base is a base; it'll work. It'll be a little trickier to magnetize, but other than that, not a big deal. So first up. The screws. And it looks like Bertie Smythe and parts of Professor Lazarus, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, a couple more for Bertie and for Bertie and Lazarus and the body for Zeus. See a little bit of extra sprue material on the tail there. No big deal.
random small bits, arms, and parts of the cat, heads, I can't hold focus. That one. Next up, pretty hefty chunks of resin here. Uh, Maharal the Golem. Yeah. This guy will probably take take some extra cleanup work, just because of the size of the gate right there. I think it's massive. More bits for him, including his weapon, which is just a lamppost. Nothing, cra nothing too crazy, just a big lamppost. <laughs> and the rest of the bits for him, too. Happy men and very happy cats. Yep. yep. He's, in his ha he's in his happy spot. He's safe. They love you being back here. <laughs> I oh, know Muffin did this all the time when I was upstairs too. No, Katie, hop down. Hey, sis, come here. Right. Yay, stuff to edit out. And some baggies. I'm not going to take the stuff out of the baggies because I don't want any of these bits to get lost. No. What time? Okay. We have a couple more prior members. Looks like Abigail Halsey and Kitty Page. Some random bits for the ladies, including Kitty's head. And some other additional bits for them as well. There we go. That is the Priory. Now, to wrap things up today, let's take a look at the actual rules and governance box. Let's see what comes in there. Right. First off. All right, got some more stuff. Huh. Okay, so they do have some actual Mythos promo material. I just got lucky and got a wild west egg for this one. Of course, on the other side, all of the current War Cradle games. Well, current and future, I should say. All right, first off, we also have a nice set of four uh, four D sixes. They're pretty good size. Um, no like special symbols on anything. You can see there's the six regular six, and there's a one regular one. Okay, that's fine. I'm honestly okay with that. I'm. It's much better than like Games Workshop special dice, where they will put they will mix up uh, putting the like faction symbol or whatnot on either the one or the six, and it's always a pain to try to remember which one is which. No, so, standard template makes sense. You can use this one for multiple games. And right now it's Wild West Exodus Mythos. I'm guessing probably Lost World Exodus as well when that finally releases. And we have a set of tokens. All right. Now, a very important note. Um, this game is not in this game, I was told. It's supposed to come with two of these. This box only has one due to a manufacturing issue. I got an email from uh, one of the Warcrow reps Stating that another set, another set of these would be come, would be sent out separately, so when you get this, you will most likely be getting two of the two of these sheets. Um, all of these are fairly you know fairly straightforward. Let me open it up real quick. And 
of course, I opened it. I opened it the wrong way. When you get yours, take a look. There's probably going to be. Let me see. You see this little flap right there? You can use that to actually open the package up. I didn't because I had assumed that any opening like that would have been on the top. But no, on mine it was on the bottom. So I had to go and do this the difficult way. So anyway, tokens. You can see these are basic cardboard tokens. We have some for wound, counting wounds, counting sanity, a couple of specific in-game specific in-game markers. I believe this is used for one for the Dreamlands mission. And you also have some conditions. These ones here are pretty basic cardboard, assuming I can hold on to it. Fairly, you know, they feel fairly they feel fairly sturdy, not like they're gonna bend all that e all that easily, but I can definitely see the at like the edges here fraying over time. So for me, I'm gonna see if I can find a way to either print off some that I can. <sighs> no, that's not gonna work. I was originally just gonna see if I could print off some uh, and use some one inch epoxy stickers like I did with my Wild West Exodus tokens. Uh, that's a little trick I learned from the Infinity community. But since these ones are such an odd shape, like you can see that one's that. Here's one of the wounds. One of the sanity, and one of these. Yeah, if you print, you could print out. You know, you could print these out on like on you know a different color background on a one inch thing. That'll take a bit. That'll take a bit of graphic editing work. Um, honestly, I have a re I have like a resin printer. So what I may end up doing is just converting these into an STL of some sort and printing the in printing out some with that to see if I to see how well it'll work. Alright. This box does contain one one other thing that I that I have that I did not that I had left out of the box when I when I initially opened it. Now let me see if I can find it. Ah, here we go. That of course is the rule book. All right, this one's fairly thin, especially compared to the rule book for Wild West Exodus when that was out. But the game and the and the universe changed quite a bit from the initial release of the game all the way up through the dystopian through uh, the acquisition of dystopian wars and creation of the dystopian age. That a lot of the a lot of the the lore background in the hardcovers got changed really quickly. Um, there are also quite a, quite a few updates after the after the first War Cradle edition dropped, so that's probably why this one's a bit thinner. But you can see this does have basically everything you need. Comes with a bit of flavor text at the beginning. There's some. Interesting graphics spread through spread throughout and just explaining everything and whatnot So and it's a good size too. Um, the only thing I don't like about this rule book is that It does not have an index Kind of a big oversight on war trails part It's workable, but having an index makes things makes life a lot easier Nope, oh, there we go. Everything unboxed.